Have you ever been duped into thinking that eating six small meals helps you lose weight? Or do you actually believe that the proper way to eat is to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I'm here to give you five reasons why intermittent fasting is the best way to eat. Reason number one, intermittent fasting makes your day simpler. All you have to do is eat one or two large meals and you're done for the day. You don't have to prepare six different meals or snacks throughout the day. This obviously is much simpler for our lifestyles today when we're running around with smartphones in hand, trying to work or trying to play. I personally love eating and I don't mind cooking, but I definitely don't want to be stuck in the kitchen for hours doing food and meal prep. Reason number two. Intermittent fasting helps you burn more fat than a conventional or typical bodybuilder diet. There's basically two states in the human body. There's the fed state and the unfed state. In a fed state, the human body uses insulin to bring glucose into cells to manufacture energy. In the unfed state, or fasting, when food is absent, the body's level of blood glucose significantly decreases. This lowers insulin release, resulting in increased fatty acid oxidation. Since intermittent fasting may decrease both glucose and insulin levels, the body could potentially use stored fat as fuel. But wait, you're probably thinking, I thought eating smaller meals helps to burn more fat. Well, here's the problem. The amount of calories you burn is proportional to the size of the meal your body is processing. So digesting six smaller meals that add up to 2,000 calories burns the same amount of energy as processing two large meals of 1,000 calories each. It doesn't matter when you get your calories in. You know, you can get it in 10 meals or in one meal. You'll end up in the same place. This is why intermittent fasting works better than small meals throughout the day. Reason number three, intermittent fasting may help you to live longer. Way back in 1945, it was discovered that caloric restriction extended life in mice. Now more recently in 2006, they decided to repeat the experiment, except it was just adjusted a little bit with intermittent fasting instead of just caloric restriction. And they found that it had the same effect in mice in these lab experiments. Reason number four, intermittent fasting has been found to lower your risk for various disorders and diseases, such as diabetes, obesity, and cancer. One of intermittent fasting's main effects seems to be increasing the body's responsiveness to insulin, the hormone that regulates blood sugar. Decreased sensitivity to insulin often accompanies obesity, and it's been linked to diabetes and heart failure. Animals and people with long lives tend to have unusually low insulin, just presumably because their cells are more sensitive to the hormone and therefore they need less of it. A recent study at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies in La Jolla, California, showed that mice that feasted on fatty foods for eight hours a day and subsequently fasted for the rest of each day, they didn't become obese or show dangerously high insulin levels. Reason number five, you'll be eating the way that we're supposed to eat. Three meals a day is a modern invention. There was volatility in our ancient ancestors' food supplies, and this brought on frequent fasting, not to mention malnutrition and also starvation. Such evolutionary pressures conditioned our bodies for intermittent fasting. So that's it. Give intermittent fasting a shot and just see how your body responds. As always, good luck with your fitness goals, and please ask any questions in the comment section.